you are welcome to my channel thanks for visiting subscribing to my channel listening and sharing all my presentations today i'll be addressing atemeta lumefantrine combination this could be under different brand names depending on which one is available in your jurisdiction or country could be quartem remed marfan malaricure Lumetan, Amblom, Atemelatrin, Atemeta Plus. By classification, of course, I know anyone who has clicked on this will know that we're dealing with anti malaria, right? So, an anti malaria agent, but remember, two medications are combined in one here. Um, if you want to know in details what Atemeta stands for, or Lumefantry, you can click on this very link. There, I have full presentation on the list of different anti-malaria agents, like Atemeta belongs to Atemizinin and so on. You will get details right there. Just click on this very link. Thank you. This medication we are paying in form of tablet, for example, Quartem, that is Atemeta 20 mg and Lumefantrine 120 mg. Dosing. If you are using Atemeta 20 mg with Lumefantrine 120 mg, in any patient greater than 35 kg, the one, four tablets will be taken immediately, that is zero hour, then four tablets will be taken eight hours later. Then you come back day two, four tablets in the morning, four tablets at the evening time. Day three, four tablets in the morning, four tablets at the evening time. In periodic age group, the child must be greater than two months and at least five kg. So to those kids that are between five and 14 kg, they will take one tablet at zero hour and then one tablet eight hours after. Then days two and three will be one tablet in the morning and one tablet at evening on day two, one tablet in the morning, one tablet at evening time on day three. Kids that are 15 to 24 kg, two tablets now, two tablets eight hours after, that's day one. Day two, two tablets in the morning and two tablets in the evening. On day two, the same on day three. To the kids that are 25 to 34 kg, they will take the medication at zero hour and eight hours, but this time three tablets at zero hours, three tablets at eight hours after. And then they will take three tablets in the morning, three tablets at night, day two, day three, three tablets in the morning, three tablets at night. To those greater than 35 kg, they will take the same tablet at the same hours at zero and eight hours then morning and evening on day two and day three but it will be four tablet each time additional agent someone asked me why given additional agent when already you are given two medications combining one that is atomator and lumefantrine well you are not far from the truth but Remember, the combination of atemeta and lumefantrine is meant for erythrocytic stage of the plasmodium. That is when the signs and symptoms of malaria will appear. But don't forget, if we are dealing with plasmodium vivans or plasmodium uva, we cannot clear the hepatic stage, that is pre-erythrocytic sta stage, that is hepatic schizon with atemeta and lumefantrine so we will name the services of prima queen to do that for us if we don't there will be realers
administration. Cross for those who can swallow. Otherwise, they have to swallow whole. For better absorption, give with a full meal. Mains with 10 mils of water. Rinse the container and swallow again. Still on administration, you can use milk, pudding, or pulp, as the case may be. If the individual is vomiting, and he or she has vomited within two hours of taking the medication, please repeat the dose. If the individual is vomiting persistently, look for another medication or another agent, preferably intramuscular or intravenous agent. In pediatric age group, give just like in others, but remember, you have to go through the weight. They can use pudding, infant formula, or porridge. Use this. In acute, uncomplicated malaria, for example, with plasmodium falciparum, a tematal combination will be very helpful. Most importantly, this combination is good in regions with chloroquine resistance. Is that not a great news? Yes, of course. But in severe malaria, this is not the first drug you are going to use. You will use intravenous anti-malaria agent like intravenous artesunate first. You can check my channel for full presentation on artesunate. Then, you can use this combination as oral agent when the individual is no longer in need of intravenous agent for malaria. For example, now no more coma, no more uh, vomiting, so the individual could take per oral, so you've stopped the intravenous agent like artesunate. Now you want to give no, an agent for oral use, then you can grab this. Magnesium of action. The hydroatomizinin, that is the metabolite of artesunate artemeta, is a great rapid chiazontizide with n peroxide moiety. Artemeta inhibits calcium adenosine triphosphate. Lumafantrin may inhibit the formation of beta imatin by forming a complex with him. Both, that is both above, will be nucleic acid and protein synthesis. Antimeta rapidly reduces parasite biomass while lumifantrin eliminates the residual parasites. Wow, double barrier, right? Diet. Someone will ask me, why bringing diet into this? We are talking about anti-malaria. Okay, 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 no offense. Avoid grapefruit juice. And why that? Because that will inhibit the hepatic cytochrome P450 and thereby increasing the effects and side effects like prolonged QT. Uh, let me dwell a little bit more on QT prolongation here. When there's prolonged QT, that could degenerate to the point. From the point, it could degenerate to ventricular tachycardia. Then that may be monomorphic initially, but becoming polymorphic later on. If no correction, it may go down the hill to ventricular fibrillation. If there's no defibrillation, it may end up being a systole. If this is happening in the hospital, you call code blue. If it's not, if it's on the field, you call 911. Why that? You will have to institute advanced cardiac life support right away. If not, the patient will end up in the morgue, meaning death. Artemeta increases three times, and lumefantry increases 16 times when there is fat meal at the time of administration. It is best absorbed when given with a meal. Hormonal contraceptives. It may reduce the effectiveness of the hormonal contraceptives. Okay? The lady must use another method that is not hormonal. Pregnancy. 
Malaria will lead to miscarriage, premature rupture of membrane, preterm birth, low bed weight, congenital infection, stillbirth or perinatal death, increased severity with more maternal morbidity and mortality. Someone will ask me, why going into this? Just talking about this medication. No, 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 no. Just wait. We'll know why in a bit. Okay. So, we've gone through what malaria could cause, right? Mm -hmm. You can use this combination when you have weighed the advantages and disadvantages. You could pause and rewind again. There is assistance to other available anti-malaria agents. If that is the case, then you can use this medication. Also, if there is a severe malaria without the intravenous therapy, you may use this medication. Drug drug interaction. Contact your pharmacist because the list is pretty long. I may not be able to go through all the medications that will interact with this. And in addition to that, I don't know the ones you are taking right now and those that you may take after, including the over the counter or herbs. You can also contact your clinical pharmacologist. Contraindications. We will not use this medication if there is hypersensitivity to artemeter or lumefantrine or its formulation components. When we are dealing with tuberculosis or scissors and somebody is on rifampine, carbamazepine or fentoin, barbiturates and so on, we cannot use this medication. Why that? They are enzyme inducers and that will lead to reduction in the concentration of this medication very quickly. One, QT prolongation. I've explained what may happen, okay, from to that point, tachycardia, fibrillation, acetylcholine, and there. Cautiously use this medication in renal and hepatic impairment. This is not going to be given in severe hepatic or renal impairment, please. Please get EKG for monitoring, and why that? Because of QT prolongation and fatal arrhythmia. Please, no alifantrine within one month of atometer lumefantrine or vice versa. Meaning, no atometer lumefantrine within one month of alifantrine. Not so helpful in severe malaria treatment because we need to give intravenous agent right before we can administer this okay not for prophylaxis of malaria we have to use another agent completely in recrudescence or persistence or reoccurrence of the malaria parasites in the blood that's why the treatment given or previously at an undetectable level that it is now detectable so this is very common with hypnozoids in Plasmodium falciparum, also in Plasmodium novellis and Plasmodium malaria. So we have to use another agent entirely when we have uh, peripheral blood smear down after treatment and we can still get some parasites in the blood or signs and symptoms is coming back, there's relapse, then look for another agent that can deal with both erythrocytics, you know, stage that will give signs of symptoms and those that could deal with hepatic schisms that will not give any sign or symptom. Adverse reactions, headache, increased arteries, dizziness, fatigue, chills, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, anorexia, cough, fever, insomnia. Writers, diarrhea, anemia, heptomegaly, rhinitis, and peptic ulcer disease. Other adverse reactions include proteinuria, respiratory tract infection, urticaria, urinary tract infection, and constipation. Others will include decreased white blood cell counts, dermatitis, dysphagia, increase or decreased platelets, decreased hematocrit and get an anomaly. Monitoring. We have to grab our EKG to 
make sure we're not dealing with prolonged QT before administering this medication. And even after, we have to check with EKG to know whether prolonged QT is there or not. And of course, whether we are dealing with the rhythm right now or not. Then we must be sure this patient is feeding well because there will be greater absorption with food three times. You know, for a tersinate or an atomata, and 16 times for lumefantrine when fatty meal is given with this medication. We have to check the liver function test and renal function test because we cannot give this medication in severe hepatic or renal impairment. With that, I've come to the end of this very presentation. There are a lot of other presentations on malaria right here on this channel. Please kindly check it out. I appreciate it.